Rick, this is another big day at Dodger Town. What is happening this week? Well, this week we've got the Prospect Select Vera Beach Classic. It's uh, the third largest baseball showcase uh, tournament like uh, in the country. Uh, we got over 200 teams from California, Texas, Virginia, of course, Florida, even Puerto Rico that's in town. we will be here for five nights competing. Who are these players? These are the top high school players that are in the country that have been identified by college coaches, by scouts. Uh, they play with their club teams for the summer. And uh, like I said, they're high school age players and they're the best of the best right now. This is a feather in the cap for the Treasure Coast, isn't it? Well, it's the fifth year for this tournament and has uh, really grown for this tournament. Uh, for example, two years ago, this tournament had 75 teams. This year, you got over 200 teams. That uh, translates to a big economic impact for the Treasure Coast, as you mentioned. We are utilizing 25 baseball fields in all three counties of the Treasure Coast. And so, yeah, to say it's an uh, impact, uh, it would, along with the great players that you get to see. Restaurants, hotels, they're all full this week. Yeah? They're all full. The tournament started on Friday and will conclude on Wednesday. And uh, I've been in those restaurants with these players. Make sure you don't go to a buffet because you'll be in line for a long time. Jeff Biddle, uh, Vice President of Historic Dodger Town. What does an event like this mean for Dodger Town? Well, it's one of our premier events, uh, youth events, obviously. It's a huge event. It's grown. It started kind of just here, and it's grown to over 200 teams. But for us, it's uh, a, 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 one of the events we don't do, but one of our outside events, which is one of our biggest events and probably our, our highest profile event because of the, uh, the uh, quality of players and teams that come in, the showcase event on Friday night, which is huge. You know, they've had a lot of, uh, a lot of professional players have started, you know, have played here and been seen here. Here at the showcase so for us it's a high profile prestigious event which you know which fits very well into what we we're trying to do here at historic dodger town now this must take a team effort for you guys also yeah oh absolutely i mean we have a a, a very big staff here obviously um but it's you know it's everybody i mean it's all we we, we fill our hotel i mean we have 89 rooms here on site and uh, we fill our rooms, so we have that component of it. Our grounds crew keeps the fields, takes care of the fields for them. A little bit challenging this uh, this past weekend with some weather, but uh, but we didn't lose any games here, which is good. And you know, the fact that we have a major league stadium and we're able to put the tarp down and get the uh, showcase in for them on uh, on uh, Friday was crucial. So, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a big event. It takes the efforts of the entire three county area. The sports. Uh, the, gr the grounds crew in particular must have been busy this week. Absolutely, yeah. This was a busy event for them, and the weather absolutely Obviously, it was a big yeah. effect, but even if not, I mean, our grounds crew does a great job with the fields, and we're proud of the fact that we get all the games in. So, It's nice to see this facility actually busier than it used to be decades ago. Yeah, busier. I mean, when the Dodgers were here, it was limited. I mean, there was a spring training for six weeks, and then they had the Florida State League team. But now, you know, what we're trying to do and what we are doing is we're bringing uh, events in here on a year-round basis, which uh, is good for the economy, uh, the local economy. We've got people heads in beds on a regular basis and uh, the restaurants and other shopkeepers. So, My name is Ruth Reese, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications here at Historic Dodger Town. Director of Marketing and and public relations. So, what what kind of what does that involve with an event like this? With an event like this, it's an opportunity to really showcase the beauty of historic Dodger Town and the years that have gone into making this facility as great as it is. So here we have 200 teams filtering through historic Dodger Town. As Jeff mentioned, we have grounds crew, staff. Um, making the fields available. Um, we had some rain this weekend, of course, but they worked very hard to get all the games in, and we're just so pleased to be a part of this tournament. You are a newcomer to Dodger Town, more or less, but not to the Dodgers, yes? That is correct. I spent 15 years working for the Los Angeles Dodgers in publicity. Um, in, the, in the good old days, we'll call them. It was a lot of fun, and we're so uh, pleased that Peter O'Malley and his family have reinvested back in Vero Beach here at Historic Dodger Town. It's a great place. I spent uh, many years coming to spring yeah. training here and loved it. It was like a second home, and when I came back here, it felt so familiar, so welcoming. The community is great. The staff here is wonderful. Wonderful.